If you are looking to provide pre-recorded lecture content to your students, you may choose to use Panopto to create lessons that you can embed in your course. To enable Panopto in your course, go to Settings, select the Navigation tab. In the Navigation menu, everything in the top that's black is enabled and visible to students. Everything at the bottom that's gray with italics underneath of it indicates that it's disabled and not available to students in the course. If you have not used Panopto before, you will find Panopto recordings in this disabled list. You can enable Panopto recordings by clicking and dragging or by clicking the three dots in line with Panopto recordings to get the enable drop down option. And you'll see it jump up to the bottom of the enabled items list. You have to remember to scroll down and press save to retain your changes. When your changes have been saved, you will find Panopto recordings on your course menu. While you have activated Panopto recordings on your course menu, you have not yet created a folder for your recordings to live in on the Panopto server. If it's your first time accessing Panopto in this course, you will need to click the Panopto recordings link. A folder will be created with a course name where you can record and store Panopto videos for that course. In order to use Panopto, you will have to install the software. This is because Panopto needs a software recorder in order to capture the screen, your camera, and any audio that you provide. If you are using an SU-issued computer, you can search for the Software Center. On PCs, you can search for the Software Center. They'll have a list of software available for you to download that has already been pre-approved by the IT department. Therefore, you will not need admin access to install it. You will find the Panopto Recorder app in this list. If you click on the icon, you will have the Install button. On a Mac, this is not called the Software Center. You should be able to find Panopto Recorder from your self-service area. If you go to the knowledge base articles that the IT Help Desk provides, you'll find an article about installing and using software from the Software Center or the Self-Service Center, depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac. If you are not using an SU computer and instead are using a personal computer, you can still get the Panopto download files when you hit the Create button within your course. When you hit Record a New Session, the Windows and Mac installers for Panopto will be available to download directly from the Record a New Session menu. If you already have Panopto installed, you can just click Launch Panopto and open the Panopto Recorder. After you have downloaded Panopto onto your computer, you can also launch the Panopto Recorder by clicking on the Panopto Recorder from your computer desktop. When you have the Salisbury instance of Panopto set to connect, click Sign In. You should be prompted to sign into My Classes Canvas. By doing so, you will have access to all of your My Classes folders to record or save your Panopto video into. Click Sign In and you will be redirected to the SU My Classes login page. And then click to allow My Classes to open the Panopto recorder. When you are signed in, you should see your login information in the top right hand corner. If you launch Panopto and see the option to sign in instead, go ahead and click sign in and you will be redirected to log into My Classes. When you are connected with My Classes, you will see all of the folders that you have access to based on courses where you have enabled Panopto and generated a folder. Select the folder you would like to record into. Then you can change the title of the recording to match your lecture, usually the topic for the lecture. From the Panopto menu, you can choose to capture a PowerPoint, capture your main screen, and enable video if you would like to record yourself. If you just want to record your audio over your PowerPoint, you can select none for your camera to disable recording your likeness. But you want to make sure that you have your microphone selected so that your voice is still being recorded. Panopto cannot process recordings unless there is, at a minimum, an audio track. So what's the difference between capturing your PowerPoint and capturing the main screen? Well, if you uncheck Capture Main Screen, you will end up capturing just your PowerPoint with your audio on top of it. You can click on Open a Presentation, and you will be given the option to search for and select a PowerPoint to open. Once you have selected your PowerPoint, on a PC, you will be given the prompt, Would you like to begin recording after the PowerPoint opens? If you click Yes, 
your PowerPoint will launch the full screen and Panopto will be recording your lecture. So right now in this example video, I can talk about this presentation, Keeping Up With Canvas, which talks about the use of video tips such as this one, so that faculty can go back and rewatch at any time to refresh their skills on certain topics. When I am done recording my presentation, I can escape out of the PowerPoint and I can find the Panopto recorder by clicking on the Panopto tab. You'll notice that the PowerPoint is still recording even though I have ended the presentation. In order to stop the recording, you have to manually press the stop button. If you forgot to update the session name from the default date and time, you can always update it here and now. If you know that you don't want to keep this version of the recording, you can always delete and record again. If you like the recording as you've completed it, you can press done and Panopto will start to upload your recording to the server. Panopto automatically jumps to the Manage Recordings tab to show you that your video is uploading onto the Panopto server. When it's on the Panopto server, this means that your video is hosted online and you can access it from any computer, anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. Furthermore, the video is stored online, so you do not have to worry about space issues, such as if you tried to use the files area in my classes. Instead, you can use Panopto to store all of your files online, and then you can just embed them in the course. Now I'm going to go back to create a new recording. I captured the PowerPoint in the previous example. However, I tend to use my mouse to point things out, such as the record button that I'm hovering over. If you only capture the PowerPoint, anything you do with the pointer on the screen will not be recorded in the PowerPoint. That's because this pointer is considered part of the computer system. And when you only capture the PowerPoint, it ignores the computer system. So if you want to use your mouse to point out things on the slides as you present your lecture, you will have to choose to capture the main screen instead. If you capture the main screen, you're literally capturing everything that's happening on the screen, just like what this presentation is doing right now. Capturing the main screen will allow you to record your PowerPoint in the same way that when you start your slideshow, it will take up the full screen. But as you can see, you can also use sharing the main screen to walk through examples of anything that's happening on your computer. If you want to show students how to navigate the library website and search for resources and use Boolean operators, you could record your main screen through Panopto to do so. When you press record, you can just go launch your PowerPoint and you'll see that this video has been recording everything that I've been doing to open up my PowerPoint presentation. But don't worry, if you don't want students to see all of this opening to the recording, you can always do some basic trimming later to edit out the opening and closing of the videos, as well as any mistakes you might make while narrating PowerPoint slides. You can click the pause and resume button or use F9 as a shortcut. Now you will notice that even when it says paused, the counter is still counting up. Sometimes this is confusing because it looks like the video is still recording, but it is paused and it indicates it as such by saying so. My video is once again recording and I can launch my slideshow as I normally would if I was pulling it up in a classroom and proceed with narrating the lecture over top of the PowerPoint slides. Now I am using my mouse to point out the what accessibility is title in this presentation. This action is being recorded right now. When you have finished narrating your PowerPoint, you can press escape, return to the Panopto recordings menu, and press stop to end your lecture. Once again, if you forgot to update your session name from the default date and time, you can do so now. And as before, you can delete and record again, or click done to save your lecture, and it starts processing and uploading to the Panopto server. While it's uploading, it verifies the folder that I recorded into. I have returned to my Assimilating Korean Culture course, and when I click on Panopto Recordings, I can see the two recordings that I just completed in this example. The processing time is equivalent to how long you record the lecture. The longer your lecture, the longer the processing time. You may decide that you do not want to record a new session. Instead, you may choose to upload a video that you took on your cell phone. This may be useful if you are demonstrating something live, such as sculpture, or taking a virtual tour of a pond for an environment class, or even just recording a talking head video saying hello to your students, but you happen to do it from your cell phone. You can upload media and click to search for MP4s that you have available to upload.
If you no longer need the recording, you can press the delete button to get rid of it. 